So we have now the expression of x and v in terms of t. And so now if we differentiate the velocity with respect to time, you will, of course, get the acceleration. And this will be uh, negative omega square x naught sine omega t. Now, what I want to highlight here is that if you look at this expression here, it repeats itself over there. And so we can express a as equals to minus omega square x. Now, this is a very important formula because it's what we call the defining formula of an SHM. Remember that an SHM says, or rather an object in SHM, must have its acceleration directly proportional to x. There you go. Omega square is a constant. And it must always be opposite to the displacement from equilibrium. And that's, of course, the significance of this minus sign over here. All right. And so now we have proved that indeed an SHM can be characterized with this equation. And of course, if we draw the graph. Okay, so we're looking now at an AX graph. This will be a straight line through the origin with a negative gradient. Okay, let me just uh, make this a little bit more pretty. Okay, so this, of course, will be where the graph ends at minus x naught and x naught, respectively. Okay, the maximum acceleration will be minus omega squared x naught. Oh, this is plus omega squared, sorry. This, of course, will be minus omega squared x naught. And, of course, the gradient of this line must be minus omega squared. 